this is Michael Payne of HGT HGTV's Designing for the Sexes. You're an incredible interior designer, and you've come out with a new book. That's Let's right. ask Michael, which we'll give away when we're done talking to him. Wonderful. Three and a half minutes from now. But tell us a little bit about what all is in this. I, I was complimenting you on your ring. Well, that's awfully sweet of you, Beth. I mean, the fact of the matter is I never forget, you know, who I'm working for. I mean, it's all about the, the clients. And they have varying tastes. I mean, some of them have contemporary tastes. Some of them have old sort of Victorian homes. And so it's not as though I'm designing for me. I'm designing for them, and I never forget it. Is there truly one style that's a little bit harder for you to jump into that you go, oh, this is a struggle? Well, I have to be honest. <laughs> the, the fact is, I really don't like a great deal of ornamentation in my design and sort of decoration for the sake of decoration. I prefer sort of cleaner, smoother looks. So those people that really do love all of the frou-frou yeah. and all the stuff, yeah. uh, I stumble a little bit on that. I, I actually sort of calm them down. How many people, how many clients do you handle at one time? Oh, as far as the show is concerned, yeah. on, on designing for the sexes? Well, designing, and then behind the, I mean, are you working continuously behind the scenes as well? I'm on sure. my own, on my own project? Yeah. Well, minimally, because okay. the, the show consumes most of my time. I would think. Um, we typically are doing about sort of eight or ten different projects at the same time. Some are just beginning, some are just ending, you know, and some are in the middle. How big is your staff? Actually, I have, I, in my own office, I just have one full-time associate. But then behind the scenes on the show, there are three assistant designers that are working on all of the shows wow. as okay. we speak. Okay. And the new series, the new shows which air in October, the audience will actually get to see those assistant designers. Great. For the first time. Put them up in front of the camera, too. Absolutely. Now, for, it. for folks who want to take a look at this book, are there a couple chapters that you would recommend right off the bat? Which, which do you really feel? Oh, like? I have to say, well, first of all, I think... I hope you agree that the book is a sort of a visual treat on every page. Oh, it's wonderful. But you know, things, you know, the, <coughs> all, of the, all of the rooms in this, in this book are, I mean, we have living rooms, family rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, everything, everything. is in there. I'm and trying to just find, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find visuals for, I mean, everything <laughs> that you want to find, <laughs> bathrooms, as he's saying. And you start out with something really simple, and you create this masterpiece. Well, that's you know, so it's just kind of simply you. elegant, well, that's absolutely so gorgeous. Thank you. Um, here at Kitchens. Oh, I'd love, food would taste so good being cooked in this kitchen. There's no doubt about it. We did one show, you may recall, whereby um, it was the gentleman of the household that did all the cooking. And as, as far as she was concerned, she just said, I want a ma magazine cover kitchen. Oh. That's all she wanted. Something that people walked into the kitchen and said, oh, I love that. But you had no problem delivering. Oh, not I'm at all. Certain. But I actually, okay. but I had to take care of him. All right. Well, before, before, real quickly, I'm, we're getting a, a quick wrap, but I want to turn my classic Victorian theme in my family room. Where do I begin? Our new living room has 20-foot ceilings, makes our furniture look too small. What do we do? These simple questions, you've got all the answers well, to. Well, thank you. And then, of course, if anybody else wants to have a particular question, they can always come to that book signing on Sunday afternoon. And where is that? Chaucer's at 2 o'clock. Chaucer is a wonderful bookstore it's up on Upper State Street. Bookstore. It is wonderful. It's the best. We are going to give away this copy of Let's Ask Michael to caller number 20. 882-3999. The book is yours, and he's even signed it. 882-3999. Let's ask Michael. Michael Payne, so nice to meet you in person. Beth, I'll it's enjoy been an watching absolute you. Absolute pleasure being with you too. It's fun to just flip from channel three to your channel and then back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Time now is 6:27. We take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs>